So what we really want to make sure is that over these two days, we're helping you to understand the dynamics of how it works, why it works, and what you can do to be able to very, very quickly learn how to be able to hypnotize yourself effectively, as well as using hypnosis with other people in the most effective way too. And what you do is you shift from one trance to the other. Now we're going to show you some of the conventional trances, the things that a traditional hypnotist would do. But we're less important and less focused on that than being able to teach you how to be able to use trance to be able to change. See a lot of people think swing and watches and close your eyes and relax and bring out your hand like that. Those are, you know, the things, the signals for trance, but they're not really very useful in trance. They're just convincers for people that something different has happened. But when it comes down to it, as Brian's saying, when it comes down to it, it's all about grabbing the attention and getting them completely tunnel focused on that attention so that they're completely absorbed in that moment. And when they are, then they're open enough to suggestions. And it doesn't mean you can get them to do something that they want, don't want to do. It just means they're more open and more suggestible so that they can take on suggestions which are beneficial for them. And you get to think literally, what is an altered state of consciousness? That is any time you change what you're already doing. And we're going to show you how to alter and shift consciousness. But ultimately what we're really going to do is to begin to call upon things that are not in your everyday awareness and to begin to bring them into your mind so that shifts your conscious quite naturally. So what we want to do, you know yourself, as soon as you say the word trance to somebody, they're already in one. So you're going to find that you'll slip in and out of trance really quickly today. Some of the things that you'll be expecting, but really, all trance is like placebo. It's all about expectation. The reality is, as soon as you expect something unusual is going to happen, it already is. When you're able to look at hypnosis, you have to be able to see it not as this state of sleep where you can program people to do anything, because that's far from the truth. If that was true, then every single hypnotist in the world would just be rich and everyone else would be broke. But that's not the way it works. At the same time, hypnosis and hypnotherapy is responsible for helping people stop smoking, helping people lose weight, helping people change uh, the way they feel about events in the past, overcoming trauma. Uh, as Brian said, it can help you massively with pain. So hypnosis is exceptionally powerful. But at the same time, this whole idea that says that you can use it and it's dangerous and that, a lot of it comes down to the beliefs, as Brian said, the placebo power of it. And the more that you can use your brain, the more likely you are to be able to get the benefits from it. Trance really is about cooperation. Trance is about enlisting cooperation of the person's conscious and unconscious, but more focused on your unconscious. So when you're actually working with someone, you're really what you're doing is creating a deep level of rapport. And really, if you want to generate trance to someone, it's about allowing yourself to do what Regina Satir would call, is to do, basically to find out where the presence boundary is and do some temperature reading. To begin to connect with a person on a level that is useful for them. The reality is trance is about facilitating what that person wants to achieve. So it's less about you and more about them. What do they want to achieve? Where do they want to go? But what we want you to be able to do is we want you to be able to create your own way of doing it each and every time. Because if you just learn on scripts, then you think the magic or the hypnosis or the power or the effect is in the words. And that's not true. What you need to understand is the process of how it works. What's really important is that you recognize a lot more of it comes down to, as Brian said, you going into the state of hypnosis, your tone of voice, the rhythm with which you speak, all of the different parts of the way in which you communicate at that moment, and all the ways that you set it up. It's not to do with the words, it's not to do with the script.